out of you soldiers. So today's topic is one that I've really been thinking a lot about lately and I need to get this off my chest and maybe explain a couple points to you that you may have not otherwise thought of. I'm talking about the stigma that surrounds young adult YA slash teen fiction. I like some fantasy and some sci-fi thrown in there, but I am mostly a teen reader. Now, I'm 20 years old, but I have been a teen reader since I was about 12. And now that I'm a little bit older, I know a lot of people are starting to think, I know, and ask me like, oh, you're still reading teen books. Like, shouldn't you be reading something else now? I think the main reason I don't like it is because they're called teen books. Like if we could call it young adult, that'd be fine. But because they're called teen, if you're say 12 or 13, everyone's like, oh, you better stay away from all that inappropriate stuff. Because apparently why is chock full of that? Or it's the, oh, you still read that? Like, you should read something more grown up. I know a lot of adults think that YA is full of fluff and just ridiculous little, little ridiculous little plot lines and that if you want to read something with more substance, you need to read a quote unquote adult fiction book. And you know what? I actually really understand that because when you think of stereotypical YA, you think of some flighty girl who goes off on little adventures and falls in love with this boy and then can't be with him because of some curse or she saves him from his troubled past or the good girl falls in love with the bad boy and then oh all this stuff happens and like you know la dee da there's all these websites and articles about how adults should be embarrassed that they read YA fiction and all that but you know what there is a reason why it is called YA literature literature it's called literature for a reason just because it uses certain words or certain themes doesn't make it any less than any other genre of book. I think of YA as a genre, it's just like fantasy or fiction or sci-fi. It's a collection of books about problems and issues that teens face and young adults face. That's it. It doesn't mean that it has less substance or is stupid. It just means that that is a market targeted towards younger people. YA is young adult. Am I an adult? Questionable, but yes. Am I young? Yes. And I think the whole like when you're an adult thing is just ridiculous because you know adults uh, in different cultures are all ages. But I'm gonna use 18 as like a general like adulthood status. Like now that I'm over 18, I suddenly can't read Divergent anymore, and I have to start reading like Charles Dickens. Uh, actually I like Charles Dickens. <laughs> what else, what else can I use as an example? Now I suddenly have to read Alice Munro and Jojo Moyes and like Khalid Hassidi. Why do I have to do that all of a sudden? Now, hilariously enough, there have been a couple of studies on this and actually 55% of all YA readers and book buyers are over the age of 18 and 78% of those buyers bought them for themselves. So I think this stigma is a little bit outdated. I hate when people tell me that I can't read that because they're not good enough. Um, I'm sorry, you can read whatever the heck you want. It doesn't have to be good enough or the theme that someone else doesn't like. I read that because that's what I like and I'm gonna keep reading it. Now, yes, it is very true that majority of these books have those stereotypical plot lines with fluffy female characters and some curse or other and the bad boy being the love interest. But like any other book, you gotta weed through all of them to find the good ones. And there is this huge wave in the last little while, probably heard me talk about it, heard other people talk about it, about new diversity, new plot lines, new strong female characters. So like YA as a genre itself is really revamping itself. And I think that with the emergence of, yes, Twilight, the YA genre has really taken off and way more people are interested in it. Everyone seems to group YA novels into this crappy romancy Twilight genre box because Twilight really was the first YA book series to make it big. Now, yes, I was a total Twilight. I loved it because at that time, that's what was big and that's what was exciting because it was a new thing that hadn't really been explored. Of course, now I've read a lot more so I can differentiate and like Twilight may not be the best example of YA literature. Plus, let's just talk about these covers, shall we? I know it's a bit of a side note, but we're gonna go on a rant. Sometimes I feel really embarrassed to be walking around public with some of these books because the covers make it look like, uh, I'm some fluffy, airbrained girl. Like, literally, I will go to all types of trouble to hide the cover when I'm reading in public because the majority of them are white girls in ball gowns. White girl in a ball gown. White girl in a ball gown. White girl in a ball gown. Ball gown. 
white girl. Ball gown. Ball gown. Ball gown. Ball gown. Ball gown. And those are just the books that I own. Now, I like reading YA for the same reason I like reading at all. It's escapism. That's why we read. It's to become immersed in this other world and this other plotline of other people's problems. That's why we do it. You can put your life on hold and read about someone else's problems and have them deal with it and not have to worry about getting blasted off the earth by a wizard or accidentally falling into a pit of aliens. Like you just, you can do it. You're, you can read about someone else's world. I just personally like reading YA more because I find that the stakes are higher and then it's more interesting and that the characters, I can relate to them more, which probably has to do with age range. However, regardless, if you are ever embarrassed of reading YA, don't be. More of us read it than you think. Now, I am not judgmental about whatever you want to read. If you want to read sci-fi, if you read fiction, if you want to read horror, if you want to read a whole bunch of like new age hippie stuff, go for it. Because you know what? That means you're reading. If you want to read Twilight or Fifty Shades of Grey or Harry Potter fan fiction, I don't really care. I know why has kind of opened my eyes to other genres out there that you definitely could get involved in. All I'm trying to say is you can read whatever the heck you want, you shouldn't be embarrassed, and that YA is awesome. Leave some of your thoughts down below if you are a YA reader. I know the majority of people that follow me on here are. Tell me your own thoughts on the whole YA stigma. Are you embarrassed to read it or are you like 40 years old and totally flipping through Divergent like a mofo? Now I'm gonna go continue reading one of the other YA books that I'm working on right now, which is Spinning Starlight by R.C. Lewis. I'm really loving it so far. It's a sci-fi fairy tale retelling. I, I love the other one that R.C. Lewis wrote, so I'm gonna keep going on with this one. I'm gonna go do that now. Tea first. Hope you're having a good day wherever you are, and I will see you next week. Bye!